be in contact with me all the time. They're called Janus, which is also the two-headed Roman god of change. And their headquarters is in Brussels, Belgium, in the NATO building. And they, would, they are a group of psychiatrists and doctors who are into mind control. And they are one of the many groups involved with the Illuminati. And they would, they would contact me and tell me, give me directions that I was to psychically kill this person or psychically injure this person or scare this person. They'd give me the location. And I started questioning this and I had a contact who since has um, seemed to have disappeared because she couldn't get the funding and she, I had called her about this group and, and she's the one that, that uh, was the ex-CIA, ex-Army intelligence person and she knew about these people and she said, yes, you're right, this is, this is what is going on. From your experience, being brought up in this uh, Illuminati um, environment. Um, were you ever told anything about where these reptilians came from and, and, and what is the history of it all? Uh, I was made to learn through Mothers of Darkness, which is a certain aspect of the organization, because that was an early, early part of my training, uh, the history of what was the Illuminati on, on this planet. And what I learned was that the Aryans originally were from Mars and they came, they were, the, the reptilians came to that planet to, uh, they came from another place, they came to that planet. They came to rule because they, and, and they wanted to mix so they said, with that race, and um, but they became the overlords. And the Martians, or Aryans, were seeking to escape from it. They went to the moon, and then were there attacked. And they then went to Earth and established culture here on Earth approximately 6,000 years ago. And at that point in time, a they were all they were doing well and they were mixing with indigenous the indigenous population of this earth they were getting along with and then about four thousand years ago the Aryan or the uh, reptilians arrived here and again began to take over uh, and they in they instilled themselves in different places uh, underground in in the uh, Earth and also this one part of them, the ruling part, took over and became involved in the politics and in the religion um, and started controlling through these means at that point in time and using the gods and deities that were believed in on this planet uh, started in infiltrating into that and becoming that and things started blood rituals started happening and uh, since that time that is the way that it has been and presently they claim to come from the Merovingian bloodline they and they are all of the there are 13 bloodlines in Europe that all, all of what are called royalty are developed from or come from. And they include the Aryans in this, and there's been a big push in this century. Um, if, for example, uh, when, the, when Nazis came into power, the fascists, uh, talking about the purity of being pure and staying in the Aryan bloodline staying pure and what it actually is all about is keeping the blue-eyed uh, blonde or light red-haired people uh, pure 
because it is more powerful and what what is in that blood for these reptilians is more powerful and they need that and when you start mixing it with people that were indigenous to this earth then it is not as powerful it has nothing to do with with someone a, a skin color or nationality it has to do with the keeping the bloodline pure for their use so uh, blonde haired uh, blue eyed people are, are the, the purest from from the reptilians point of view um, and that, that they want to keep that bloodline pure because of how they need to use it yes uh, when I myself when I realized that it had to do with blonde hair and blue eyes I could not do anything about my eyes and I am not able to wear contacts or I would have brown eyes but what I one thing I did do was cut my hair off because that was part of the the rank I was my hair was down to my knees and I colored my hair darker and um, there were times um, when after I did cut it off they had gotten to me and so the hair would be light red but that is being in compliance with them and um, I did not want to be in compliance to them um, I want to expose them and I this is part of it and I won't be what they want me to be it's basically just the reptilian mind that's inside. No, it's a reptilian. And it's, a, it's an astral form of the reptilian. It is a, like hands, face, nose, mouth. It's not just part of the mind. It is a being inside. And can they materialize into a, the third dimension and do what Arizona Wilder told Ike they can do I with your information? I can. I don't know exactly how that operate that works because I, I only know what I know from listening to people in reverse. So I, I do know that they can, I believe that they can do that, that the, the reptilian will overpower the physical in some way and then it will turn, it will shape, I know they shape shift and I know that the reptilian will become visible and, because many people have seen them when they're in, the, in that halfway uh, changing. So I do believe that this is a physical phenomenon. I know that they do eat people physically. Let's talk about some other famous figures and what you've heard or know about them. Have you heard anything mentioned about the Pope? Yes. <laughs> the Catholic Church is, you know, this is ripe with uh, that reptilian energy. Nobody gets to be in that kind of a position of will power without a reptilian within, I would say. Even people like, um, you know, newscasters, I find that the, the, uh, the kind of the low level newscasters rarely have one inside, but the top level people do. How about uh, Bush Sr.? Have you done any reversals? Oh, yeah. What do you hear from him? He's very, very much overwhelmed with this thing inside of him. They, I reversed him when he was talking about uh, the fundraiser after Katrina. He and Barbara were on with uh, Larry King and I got that recording and he went through the whole thing about how they set it up to, in order to get me for the trip. This set up the hurricane? Oh yeah. They mm -hmm. revved it up and they directed it to this poor black area of New Orleans and even Barbara says, you won't care because they're black. And it's all about the meat, and collecting the meat. The, the echelon attitude here, the needs of the few outweigh the needs of humanity. And sorry, that just isn't right. You know, but it's going to have to be humanity that's going to rise up and take the stand. You're just going to have to turn off your televisions. They're going to have to get in their car. They're going to have to fire everybody in Washington, D.C. that knows and does nothing. And they're going to have to do something. You know, this apathy's got to end, otherwise the way we live is going to end. Period. I mean, that's the bottom line. You know, and I'm not coming from a fear space. I'm really quite angry about the apathy and the fact that, you know, when people give lectures and try to tell this, people want to stand up and fight with them. Look at what's happening around us. The indication.